Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. So, I'm back at work and there is lots of work that needs to be done over the course of the next two weeks. But before I will start to talk about my return to work, let's talk about the plan for today. The plan for today is to, of course, return to the museum and to start thinking about the integration of the map wall as well as the way how I can put all the various items to display. And so let's start with organizing a little bit the inventory. I think I like to store the glowstone here. I can return the block of redstone. I can store the sand somewhere else. Is there anything else I need to put somewhere else? No, I think that's all. Everything fine here. Yes, looking good. And um, yeah, so let's do this. Let's open the gates. Make sure that we are safe. Grab the horse and first travel to the storage building to store all the sand and all the other things. Then I need to descend into the mine grab the various map tiles and travel over to the museum. I got a pretty good recommendation from Leon. He suggested that I could that I could put the map wall into the basement of the museum as this would result in the glass walls not being blocked by the large map wall. But actually this would be the complete opposite of what I intended to achieve with the museum because I am building or I built the museum to another quotes where where do I store another quartz? To... Ah, here. Alright, um, I think I will keep the diorite in my inventory. Let's see, can I have... I certainly can, but then I need one more free slot. So let's store the diorite here. That's perfect. Um, this would be the complete opposite of why I built the museum. I have the map wall right now inside of the mine and it's really a dark and not so interesting place. So putting the map wall into the basement of the museum, which well is looking more interesting than the uh, than the mine than the mine, but it would be still a somewhat dark place. So yeah, that, it's it's a good idea, but it's not really an idea that is really feasible or that I like to use. And so let's let's try it. Let's try to okay. Let's block maybe this this slot here that I get all the maps of the first row. Now I like to have all the maps of the other row down here. Well, maybe I can do it like this. I can grab the item frames. All right. And split them. Okay, that's perfect. So now I can get the second row of the map wall. Very nice. And the third third row and they all should be in the right order 
Alright, perfect. I should have enough... Hmm, what kind of material do I like to use? Quartz? Quartz would be cool and would look nice. So let's see if I do have 16 blocks of quartz. Then I could could create the map wall with quartz. This could be nice. This could be very interesting. And um, yeah, so I don't... Oh, right. Um, so yeah, thanks, thanks for the suggestion. It's really a good idea to keep the glass walls free, but I like to have the, the map wall in a bright and beautiful spot. And so the museum basically is just being built to have to host the map wall aside from many other things this is also oh no i forgot the the quotes um well let's get the quotes <laughs> otherwise it would be a little bit pointless to be there with all the the map tiles and then i can't do anything with them so yeah Back at work, the first day already started with four video calls, which is a little bit much for getting back. So had two team meetings because, well, I belong to two different research groups. And um, yeah, those had their, their team meeting on Monday and no I have only three blocks of quotes. Do I like to go into the nether? Can can I can I put this into Well let's let's take the quotes with me. Maybe I can put it into the the stone cutter. Not sure if this works that way. Would be cool. So let's give it a try. And then I had two different calls with some colleagues or students that also needed some assistance. And um, yeah, this was a busy start aside from the countless emails I had to look through and answer and organize and prepare things for the next few days. <laughs> So, yeah, Mon Monday was, was crazy. Also, I was talking about in the last episode, um, yeah, I was talking about the plan to write and prepare a few papers. And it's quite a lot of papers. So, currently I'm involved in three papers. And there might even be okay this is not working the way I hoped it would this is sad so this is okay I can get only nine blocks of quartz I have two left in the hmm oh no it would require gold armor to get into the nether man this is making things so complicated this is making things really complicated. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, on the other hand, it's using wood, so maybe birch wood. Maybe birch wood would be good as well. Let's try birch. Let's try birch. And um, yeah, one paper will be submitted this Thursday, I guess. I think the, the deadline is tomorrow anywhere on Earth. No, it's today anywhere on Earth, which results in it being tomorrow 2 p.m. my time. Yes, that's that's how it works. So um, yeah, this will be submitted t 
tomorrow. And then there is another call for papers where I like to submit at least two papers too. And this is one week after, so next Thursday. And um, yeah, that's quite some work. Maybe there will be even, oh no, snap. Maybe there will be even a force paper. This will be decided today because I intend to write this paper together with one of my students and she's currently conducting her, her study, but there aren't enough participants due to COVID-19 and the fact that there's currently the lecture free period. And um, yeah, this makes things a little bit more complicated. So today we will discuss about the results and about her progress and everything and then decide if it's feasible to try to get the paper done by next week Thursday or not. But yeah, it's lots lots of work, as I said, <laughs> lots of work needs to be done over the course of the next two weeks. I'm not doing this. Am I actually happy with this? Yeah, I think I'm more happy with this than with, I could even put a painting or so here. Hmm, would be interesting to have a painting there. All right, let's return all the maps to the map wall. All right. So we should get an initial idea if it looks good or bad what we what we did here. I think it looks cool. I think it looks better than anticipated. I mean, when you then get up here, you immediately face this beautiful map wall and you can, yeah, almost enjoy it in its full glory. So this is cool. It's exactly what I wanted. And yeah, we are down here. We are right inside of this between those two mountain ridges. This is cool. That's amazing. So yeah, birch. Birch is the right thing. And um, so yeah, uh, three to four papers. That's lots of work. Luckily there will be vacation again after, after the end of the deadline, which I'm really looking forward to. So Yeah, lots, lots of meetings and lots of other crazy stuff. Do I need something else on here? I don't think so. And um, yeah, let's let's get the the last part of the map wall. There's also there's still the the question: what kind of um, yeah, stand or thing I like to use for putting items to display? I mean, hmm. I'm thinking about using some kind of fence or so, so that I just have this, this small piece of wood or stone underneath a block I like to put this to display. Or I could use a full block. I think I do have to do some tests to find out what what looks best. And then of course I do have to have the armor stand for this thing. This is also a thing I could craft. Why am I here? I'm here because I want to store the nether quotes again. Wait. Let's get the the armor that was worn 
during the expedition. And um, yeah, I, I got a question from Matthew. Let's let's answer a question from uh, Matthew. Because I, I feel a little bit stuck right now with, with what I was discussing. So, Matthew. Matthew asks, what is a skill that you think every sh everyone should have and why? What is a skill everyone should have and why? Hmm. A skill. is trying to somehow stay positive even in bad situations. Is this a skill or is this an ability? <laughs> so this, this is already a good question. What's, what's a skill and what's, what's an ability? Um, I think I can reclaim this switch here as well. So I, I think trying to have the positive attitude overall, of course you can be mad and sad for a certain amount of time when something bad or stupid or whatever happens to you or when you submitted your thesis over a year ago and you still wait for the feedback of the third reviewer and you still wait for it despite the fact that over a year has already passed when you still can laugh about this situation <laughs> uh, th this is exactly what I mean so stay positive I think th this, is, this is really a thing that is really an important skill and it would improve the lives of so many people and would reduce so much sadness and frustration and so on. But is it a skill or is it an, an ability? This is a good question. Skill. I mean, driving, cycling are important skills, but should really everyone be able to drive? I mean, is it really necessary sometimes to drive? Just imagine you would just live on an island or so, which way you can walk everywhere. Do you really need to drive then? Maybe, I mean, th this is a very basic skill, but the the skill to read. I think reading is a very important skill and this is something everyone should be capable of. And, um, yeah, th this is really a tough question. I would say the the. Wait, let's let's have a look at this. I think this this is this is really beautiful, especially with the blue glass and all the water we have in the map. This this looks cool. This is, this looks absolutely spot on. Really, the way it it should look like. Not sure if I like to have something here on the sides uh, do I have more fences more fences could be cool let's try fences this, well on the other hand do I really like to have fences or is it making the thing way too wide I think without fences hmm. I have to give it a try maybe, maybe fence maybe not so yeah, I, I would go for for this having a positive attitude. Okay, I like to have those 
Okay. <laughs> For those banners, by God. By by killing one of those those groups of the pillagers, I think I will leave them there. That's a good. This is a really good spot for for having them. Oh right, I need I need the armor stand. I also need the armor stand. Let's just. Oh, I have no fences. Why don't I have fences anymore? Well, let's let's craft a few. Okay, like this should be fence. Yes, this is fence. Very nice. So, and I need armor stand. What was armor stand? How do I craft an armor stand again? So I think my answer would be the ability to stay positive is, or the skill to stay positive is really an important skill. Smooth stone slab. Stone. Ooh. Armor stand. Very nice. Oh no! It's it is it already that time? And I like to have this thing here. And I might like to put it on top of a jungle block, jungle wood block or so. Or the stamp boots. Okay, how does this look like? Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Not sure, but maybe. I guess the the armor stand has to wait for next episode. We need to return before bad things start to happen. No one likes to have bad things to happen. So yeah, I, I hope this is a satisfying answer for you, Matthew. Just just let me know if you're happy with this. Ooh, creeper. If you are happy with this answer or not, dang it, I'm stuck. Which means I need to approach that creeper and ew, get through here. I should definitely build this pass at some point. <laughs> I'm saying this so many times. Every time, ah, skeleton. Error dispenser. Hey, you horse. Uh, I'm saying this so many times, I, I finally need to build the pass. And then I'm not doing it. <laughs> Would make things so much easier. But anyway. So, yeah, this, this surprisingly is, is the end of this episode. Time flies when you're having fun. Or when you try to decorate the museum and to, to find out how to put things to display. But I'm quite pleased with the with the way how the map wall looks like. I think that's really the way I hoped it would look like. And I'm, yeah, I think up there in the in the upper floor, it looks it looks really good. It looks better as having it in the dark basement. I think dark basement is good for dark things. Maybe things I found in the nether or so, but not for the for the cool map wall. Yeah, I'm, I'm always happy with the with the view over to the museum. This makes me always happy. And um, yeah, with this beautiful view, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you will be joining me next time when I will put the expedition armor to display. Okay, this should still uh, be enough for, for a couple of episodes. My boots and my hat. And so, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Seppi. See you! Yeah.